everybody, I'm back with another unboxing, and today I'm finally unboxing another one of the LOL Surprise OMG fashion dolls. Uh, this particular one has 20 surprises, uh, unbox fashions, dress me, strut your stuff, reusable dressing room. This is series one, this is Royal B. And of course, on the front, just like all the rest of them, uh, she has that silhouette. We'll go ahead and we'll look at the other side here. It says, hey sis, this is supposed to be the LOL surprise version of her. And then you can read that on the back. I believe it's the exact same thing that says on the rest of them. And then down here there's silhouettes, or darker, yeah, silhouettes of the other four you can get. Uh, we've already unboxed Neonlicious. This is Royal B. Uh, we still have to unbox Lady Diva, and I still have yet to find swag, so... Don't worry, though. Um, they will all come at, at some point. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this outer part. Uh, like I think, actually, get the tape off here, and I should be able to just pull it. Okay, I got that plastic sleeve off of the tape. We're supposed to slide this off first and get her this piece of box art here. And it says, <laughs> Royal B, I run my world. I create my own buzz. Fierce, fashionable, and fabulous. So here is her box art un underneath the silhouette. She's so beautiful. I get such a Bratz vibe from this, though. It's like Bratz met uh, LOL little minis. Um, I really like the differentness about this. So then you pull the box open, and you've got your fashion over here. So we're going to take a look at that. Um, I think that just pulls right out. Here. Just pulls right out of here. Okay. So here's all of our stuff here. Unbox our fashions. Where do we start? Well, I think we can start right here with this fashion book. Uh, okay. It says, Fashion Magazine, what's your star sign? And it looks like Royal B is a Scorpio. Squ Queens don't always have to rule alone. Make some time with your Royal BFFs. Okay, we got everything out of the box here, so let's go with the hat box first. So um, check out this hat box, guys. It's uh, transparent black with gold sparkles embedded in it. So like black and gold seem to be our um, our color palette here. And um, the tissue paper is white and yellow stripes. Ooh, what do we have in here? Oh, everything is gold. Look how blinging that is. Okay, so we have what looks like to be a metallic gold I'm thinking this is a belt of some sort. My guess is it's, is it's a belt. But it could be a necklace. I don't know. guess we'll see later on. Um, a gold bangle bracelet. Looks like that snaps on there. Ooh. So we have... Um, I think this is supposed to be like a diamond. Diamond studs maybe. But this is a metallic silver. You can't really see through these glasses, but they're cute. And here is our earrings. They are gold as well. You can see that there's two double hoops in there. There's um, a cr what looks like it to be a crown. Can you guys see that? Let's see if I can get you that to focus. Can you guys see that it looks like a crown on the top there and a jewel? So those are earrings, pierced earrings. So that's we got those. We're gonna put them aside and back in the box until we get our girl out. And then we have our shoe box here, guys. And uh, it says size 6 shoes. We have black pleather. Uh, same type of tissue paper that we opened up from the accessories. This must be the shoes. And a shoe box. Ooh, guys. Look at these shoes. So they're kind of a... No, they're not transparent. So they're black. And you can see the gold sparkles in them, I'm, I'm assuming. And then we have um, some gold stripe painting in the back where the heel is. 
and these are really awesome boots. And then it has um, also a gold uh, tip. Is that what you want to call it? A gold front of the shoe. So there's two of those, I swear. I figured I only have to show you one. We're going to put these back, too, until we get our girl opened. Then we'll dazzle her up in a little bit here. Let's take a look at her outfits. There's two really cool... Um, what are these called? Like clothes bags, maybe? They're kind of like the things that you would get um, if you got your if you went to a fancy dry cleaners. You'd have something like this um, on them. So our first one is like a brown bag that's got a bunch of flowers on, on gold on it, and there's BB on there for I don't know for BB <laughs> and uh, yeah, bumble bumblebees all over that. And then inside, we have a black with gold sparkles embedded in it. It says uh, LOL OMG on it. And we have some gold pants here, guys. Um, they're pretty stylish. I don't really know what kind of fabric this is, but it's good fabric. It feels awesome. The next one is also in that black and gold, but it's got like... Um, like gold bracelet stripes, gold chain stripes, and then it looks like a jacket of some sort. So that one had a gold hanger instead of the black one that we saw on the other. And this is our jacket, guys. Oh my gosh! So it's it's a pleather jacket. Um, the black ple it's black ple pleather, and then it's a ribbony type fabric that that's uh done in that metallic gold color that comes down the sleeves as a stripe and then stripes on the front of the cuffs of the sleeves and then it's also stripes in where the zipper would be uh we have some faux pockets i believe they're not real pockets but um maybe they are no they're faux pockets and then these really awesome uh hard plastic shoulder pads that has a Madonna type feel to me. <laughs> so we're gonna put that down, and that's all we got. Yeah, that's all we've gotten in all that stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at our girl. And here is Royal Bee peeking out. Uh, it says dressing room. Strut your stuff. And we'll open up her door here. And ooh, guys. All right, so uh, there's a little purse hanging right there, and a little um, hanger, and then on the bottom there's it says BB Boutique. Uh, we also have inside here um, a blind bag. We're gonna open up here. I think this might end up being her purse, and the blind bag is black and light blue, and it says BB Boutique. And I'm right. It's her purse. Oh my goodness. It's the same purse as right here. And it's beautiful. It's black with a bunch of gold detail work on it. A gold bead type detail on the strap. That's a little bit more flexible than the rest of it. And it also is open. So it is functional. You can put some uh, jewelry or something in there from your girl. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and get her out of her box. So it looks like we got a comb here that is completely gold and it says LOL OMG on the back and it's round with a little bit of stripage there. And here's our girl, guys. She's absolutely beautiful. Uh, she has the flatter, the flat dimension face that you would expect from a LOL, LOL except a lot bigger. Uh, she has brown eyes with uh, brown eyebrows and her her um eyeshadow it's glittery it it's very gold but it's got a little tiny bit it looks like a no maybe it is just gold I thought I had a little bit of something else in it but it's gold uh, her hair is this be it's beautiful like light browns with a dark brown tone it is a little flat so I'm gonna have to actually fluff it a little bit now I'm gonna show you her hair design Okay, so her hair is really, really super, super, super curly and super big. I am loving her hair. It's gorgeous. It's big, gorgeous. Uh, it, it's full. Uh, no gaps in the hair that I can see. 
Uh, and um, if you look really, really close to the on the front of her hair, she has two little buns right on the top there. Oh, she does have a little bit of um, a hairline underneath. It looks like. If you guys look, you can see um, there are there is some sculpt drawing um, for hair for sculpted hair. Only on the front of the bangs. I don't think there's any on the back, but we can check that out too. Just the front. Um, let's see. And she's wearing, I don't know if this is considered a bathing suit or a lingerie. I think it's probably maybe more of a bodysuit. And it's in the gold, that gold, sparkly, metallic gold stripes. Um, on black. And then on the seams of the suit, of the bodysuit, is done in pleather that matches the jacket we looked at. And then she has these really cool... Uh, knee-high socks that are black with um, with gold sparkles in them, so that's really pretty as well. I love her lips. I love how sp how they added a little bit of sparkle to that. That's a pretty awesome touch. I also wanted to point out um, how realistic her hands are. She's got the dimples on the knuckles. You can see if uh, it's hard to tell on camera because it's a really really subtle detail, but a detail that was unnecessary on a doll. And I don't know if I can get it to focus, but her fingers actually have wrinkles in them. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that in the last video of the other girl that we that we reviewed. Uh, and uh, she does have nails that are long, and they're polished a light gold color. So you can see that they're not just polished on. They're actually part of the mold, so they, and, they, and they stick out. They're like really nice long nails. I also forgot to mention that uh, she does have a really dark cheek blush, which is really nice on her as well. Uh, her body is a for articulation. Her head moves up and down and back and forth. She does have shoulder joints that move up and down and back and forth. We have the uh, we have elbow joints as well, and things that fall off while I'm trying to show you the joints. Her hands move back and forth. Uh, her, well, wrist joints. Uh, her hands themselves are removable from the wrist socket to um, dress it undress her easily. They are a softer, um, a softer um, rubber. Probably more of the same type of rubber her face is made out of versus the arms are a little bit harder. I don't think she has a waist joint. No, no, no waist joints. Uh, but she does have um, her... Um, she does have the thigh joints uh, that move up and down, and her knees are just, they do bend, but they're the click bend, so if I can get that to work with one hand. They don't really do too much, but you guys can hear that, they, so they, they, uh, they click, the click joints. The good old click joints from way back in the day. So yeah, they don't, her, her, her legs just move back and forth, so you can sit her, or stand her up. So, other than that, let's go ahead and get her dressed up for you, and um, we'll get her on her stand as well. So, here is our girl, Royal Bee, from head to toe. <laughs> I do have to say she was quite a... What's the word I'm looking for? Not struggle. She was an adventure to dress, I think. <laughs> so, uh, this choker that she's wearing right here, it was not the easiest thing to put on. I kept hoping that I could pull her head off, but I was afraid to pull her head off because I didn't know if it was like a Barbie type mechanism and then I was gonna, would end up breaking or splitting something. Uh, but eventually I did get it on. I did have to remove both of her hands to get the jacket on, but that was actually more of a breeze. Uh, the belt doesn't have any way to snap it on, but it does uh, the way it's built and the way it's like the way it's molded. It just goes right on. Um... Uh, I thought, out of everything, I thought I was going to end up having a hard time putting her boots on. Uh, but her boots amazingly slid right on. Um, as for her glasses, I do really like them. I like that you can see a little bit of her eyes peeking over. They're really cute. Uh, but they don't seem to agree with the earrings. It's hard to put them on with the earrings. So I'm guessing one or the other. Uh, so I would rather have her eyes showing and keep her beautiful earrings on. So... Uh, like the other girl that we opened up, I am going to prefer to have her her eyes showing. She is so cute, guys. Um, granted, these are very pricey, okay? But you 
in in generally in life, you do get what you pay for, and these girls are no exception. Um, I have absolutely <laughs> no bad things to say about them. Their hair is soft, luscious, and full. Um, no paint flaws that I was able to find at all on her. Everything just coordinates beautifully, and it. I just uh, and the fact that they come with a stand as well. That is a multi stand. You can either use it as a stand or you can have them sit. Uh, because they don't have a lot of leg articulation, the stand is kind of an awkward thing, I think. But I'm wondering if the stand might be a piece to a future set. That's a possibility, too. Um, but um, that is all we have for you guys today. That is my take on, um, or my review uh, for you on uh, the Royal Bee. And uh, stay tuned. We do have more. Uh, or at least one more at this point review coming up for um, the other girl uh, for Diva, I think? <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.